We're on the footy with Broden and Kelly, uh, with mates. Hi, Tom. Hi, how are you? You're a mate. Yep. And alongside me is a guy who's walked in mm. on his phone, no respect, just scrolling. No, no, not scrolling. What are you doing? I have notes. Ple oh, that's right. You had your hot... Please welcome. You know him from... Fuck you. <laughs> Or just assuming I was being rude. Yeah, we address that. You know him from the Tiger Airways ad in <laughs> in 2011, where he played um, like like Sigmund Freud or uh, a man dressed up as Sigmund Freud or, yeah. or, or Einstein or something. Sigmund Freud. And uh, you got eight grand for that ad. Four. Four grand for that ad, <laughs> but with inflation. With inflation. Did they fire you on Tiger? Walked out of yeah. walked out of uni, must have been 2012. Walked out of uni straight into a Tiger Airways ad Incredible. and that flew him to the Gold Coast. Wow. Mm, where I was intimidated and bullied by one of the extras on set. And so I had to ask, sheepishly ask one of the producers to move him to a different part of the pool. <laughs> what did he do? <laughs> it was just, he just kept being like, oh, he's kind of wearing, he's wearing his wig. <laughs> What are, you, what are you wearing that for, mate? What are you wearing? And I was like, please don't bash me on the set of my first TVC. <laughs> I'm being paid to put this on. That's this is what they yes, told me like, to wear. Can you make him go to a different part of the pool? So you he started, had him move? He started saying he was going to dunk me and like drown me in the pool and stuff. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was he from Tiger Airways? Or? No, he, he was would have been one from of the, Gold Coast. He was one of the, yeah, was one of the <laughs> Queensland boys. So you Queensland local. Put your headphones on for a sec, Mark. I want to play you something before we crack in. Please welcome Mark. He's a big footy fan. He goes for Geelong. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, traditionally, I go for Geelong. Um, we were just talking to Zach last week. Traditionally, you go for Geelong. Well, it's it's the tradition of the of the family, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You it could have gone either way. It could have been the Bombers. You, yeah, well, yeah, you that would have been. That would have been. But uh, yeah, I was yeah, too, uh, um, you know, I was. Uh, I loved God. Or as you know, Gary Ablett, as the uh, yeah, tabloids oh, yeah. would call it. Junior? Him. Junior, not so much. Too small. <laughs> <laughs> now, while you've been... We're just very briefly... Tom has taken the plastic off his Cool Ridge bottle yeah. and, and, tape, and, and then ra f flattened it onto the desk here. Yeah. Why are you doing that? It's cool. It's like my art. It's it like is the like back your of Braden's uh, laptop, you know? Anyway, this has started badly. It's finals here, right? And what happens... One what, day in September. Bang on. What day is it? Today, no, no, the that that one day that well, they piss the on about the I song, think. they I piss on about. Do you want to sing that? I just remember all I remember is one day in September that we ought to remember. Here we come, here we come from here. That's what I remember. Great song, very catchy. Here we go. You ready? Do you remember this? Not the verses. I don't think I've ever heard this. This is my it's really? the, it's Mike Brady, so it's the guy who he made a lot of ad tunes. Ah, sounds like it. And you'll know the chorus though. He writes okay. a lot of anthems. Yeah. He also wrote up there Gazali. Ah, Here we go. Yes. Oh. Sing along, Mark. It's different the melody's different to what I remember. Yeah, that happens, doesn't it? We'll be in there shouting. Footies, such no, I'm, part yeah, I'm of of Interesting fi uh, uh, fact about Mike Brady. Mm. Uh, he was the eldest. His dad uh, was the eldest of three sons. His dad married a woman who had three daughters. No, no, yeah. that's the Brady bunch. The, oh. You're just doing the Brady bunch, Mark. <laughs> right, I was. I, I didn't understand. That's great, Mark. Very good. <laughs> now, Mark, I want to play you something very quickly. So, what's happened to Zach recently? Yeah, what's wrong? What's <laughs> no, no, like no, nothing. I, I really thought that was Mike Brady. <laughs> <laughs> no, did you, what are you suggesting? <laughs> no, no, a fictional no. character from the Brady Bunch. Mm. Man, I just I lost it. I lost it for a second. My bro, my memory's you having a breakdown. It's gone cuckoo caca. <laughs> so from the Auntie Donna podcast, of course, Zach gets brought up in September a lot that he had a terminal illness. Do you remember the episode where Zach had a terminal illness? No, he had finals fever. That's right. Now the end of that episode, <laughs> I found really funny. I listened back to it before, so I'm going to play it now All right. because I found it really funny. It's you and I. Trying to fill out the entire section of the Fox Footy I was gonna song. Say, it's going to feel like a disease once you lose all control of your bowel functions. So, so Zach's dead. <laughs> he's dead. So and I'll he's just jump ahead. So much for joining us on the show, Mike. Hey, if you're going to the footy this week, crack a cold one for us. 
It gets funny. Footy fever. That was our little play about footy (laughs) finals fever. Hey, you know what? Pour one out for old mate Zachary Ruane. Footy's fever took him. Finals fever (laughs) took him. But that doesn't mean it has to take you too. Look out for your mates. Get on a mate ship. (laughs) (laughs) And then we run out of Um, coffee. And and don't forget, we're here nine to five every day, talking footy, breaking down the points, getting around the back. Sayonara for one more week of the Auntie Donna Fox footy show. Um, <laughs> so, uh, um, uh, you gotta, what all, it's all about getting in there. This is, good. This is a good podcast. <laughs> it's good. Who's, who's, Get in the ruck. Who stands up in that moment? Show them who's boss. Hey, why are you scared about kicking it from 50? Take the risk. The power's in your hands. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Go on with your mates. <laughs> Seeing your friends at the train station. Get in the back pocket. It just keeps going on and on like this. Fucking hell. Was I this, really... My question is, was this pre or post the footy song sketch? I think about the same time. I remember us doing that podcast in the front room at our old office yeah, yeah. where the dogs all pissed. Yeah, yeah, and you yeah. went recently. And pierce to the old. Went to the old office. Yeah, to the old office. Yeah. Does yeah, it look yeah. the same? It's where they. Uh, uh, no, it looks completely different. Right, that right. upsets me, and I. So I can talk you through it in great detail. If you like. <laughs> the old it's, dimensions but, of our old office. Yeah, it's probably not worth it. Um, All right, now, Mark. When I asked you to come on yesterday, mm. Mark, by the way, Tom, I do a lot of prep for the guests we have <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, of course. Mm. Um, you said, "Should I bring five hot takes?" I did, and I said yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. have you brought five hot takes? Yeah, yeah, I have. I have. <laughs> Why don't you... Because t- it's finals. It's the second week of the finals. Yeah. And so you've brought five hot takes. Yeah, 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 I have. Now, the first one... <laughs> what, what have you done? What's that? What was uh, that whispering? I, get, I think I just... The episode just went into another podcast and it was us whispering and I tried to turn it off and it went mm. through my laptop. But sorry, the, sorry to ruin your hot no, take. No, it's fine. The reason I was asking when the footy song came in was I just remember being obsessed with the phrase... Get around the back, yeah. and not really knowing what that means, yeah. Yeah. or well, said, if that's a phrase that is said in mm, footy. I really like that you said, "Don't be afraid to um, kick it from 50. Well, yeah, it's worth more points. No, it's not. Oh, <laughs> is it not? <laughs> no, it's not. In any it should be like basketball. For, for a while pre-season. in a preseason, they used to have super goals. Yeah. What really? Yeah, yeah. And you, if you kicked it from outside fifty, it was nine points. Wow! And then they called it a Zuper goal because Zuper Duper got on board. They sponsored it. Yeah. Mm. What do you, I think I brought this up. I maybe bring this up every time I talk about footy. So I probably brought it up on this podcast before. <laughs> but um, what do you feel about a couple of points for hitting the post? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's hard. That's hard. I yeah. think what I would do. I think that's a piece of shit idea. I think that's really. Why? I, I think I think that's I think that's dog shit. <laughs> what I would do. Is hitting the post means no points. Whatever side it bounces in, like in a soccer post or whatever, yeah. that's what it is. What? <laughs> what do you mean? What side it bounces so, in? It can only bounce on one side. So no, it bounces it back so if, it, if, if the ball hits the post, yep. <laughs> yes. Bounce, bounces back in play. Yeah. Uh-huh. Game on. on. Keep going. Ah. But if it bounces and then like... Do they usually go, do they go, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, they go, bring it back, call it back. Do they call it? They don't yeah. usually need to do that because everyone knows the rules. It's very rare that the umpires go, hey, stop, 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 stop. Are you really? Yeah, because these are people who have dedicated their lives to this sport. Yeah, but, you know, they're getting their heads knocked around a bit. They yeah, probably this forget. is 24 year olds excited. This is 24-year-olds who've spent their entire life not building any kind of personality or any other skills outside of yeah. kicking the football. Some are very smart people who go on to do other things, but predominantly... This is the best that it'll ever get for them, right? Is it true that they buy them a PlayStation? Excuse me? I heard. Mm. Because a guy I went to high school with wasn't in my year level. He, uh, I don't think he ever played... (laughs) Like I think it was just a draftsman yeah, or on the draftsman. bench, on the bench, like in oh, the yeah. army. Oh, I'm not sure. A bit of AFL, yeah. you know. Well, was never on got the list, but never. There's really. not conscription in this country. For AFL, <laughs> not is for, there? No, no, you don't all legally. Right. There's no draft. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah. What are you talking about? And they say, he said at a nightclub in Werribee when I uh, when I was working there, <laughs> and he was there, and I was Ooh, like, Will this man? Will something? 
a, a, a man who didn't play AFL. No, he, I think he played. I don't know if he played any games. But he got drafted, right? Or uh, maybe he was on the bench. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so he came up to you in a bar, and he and uh, yeah, and he said they bought him a PlayStation <laughs> <laughs> to keep him busy. Right. Uh, or to wave off the uh, boredom. A yeah. man who went to your high school, who wasn't in the same year level as you, well, yeah. was a draftman of a football team. I think the Eagles. And he walked up to you at a club and said, they bought me a PlayStation. We had some chit-chat first. <laughs> but you got a PlayStation. You often get free shit from PlayStation. Yeah, I do. I was just wondering if that was like a... Uh, a common thing. Uh, yeah, like a what do you get? Board. What have you got free from PlayStation or um, Sony? Man, PlayStation fucking rule. I love they PlayStation. Do, yeah. They give me heaps of shit. I got PS5. Mm-hmm. I got um, PlayStation Portable. What's that? It's like PS5. a little, it's like a little screen. It's like, it looks like a Nintendo Switch, but it has the PlayStation controller on either side. It was a screen in the middle. Oh, Connects you can take like Wi-Fi. a Switch. Well, you can't take it around. It and it's not be, portable, is it? Well, it's like you can play your favorite games at a lower frame rate. In your bedroom. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, bed. and so you're an ambassador for PlayStation. I eh? love PlayStation. Don't get me wrong. Maybe the Wi-Fi is not great at my house. Yeah. <laughs> but I could not play The Last of Us Part 2 uh, roguelike mode, no return, in my bedroom. It was too far away. I was dropping too many frames. Yeah, not yeah, on frames. grounded. Mm. But Way you- too hard. <laughs> I need that 60 frames per second. Mm. But you would go PS- a PC first. Um, oh, it depends on the game. Right. You know? What, uh, so what, okay. <laughs> what game is a PC game? So you like I like Fortnite or what do you play? You, yeah, you... yeah, yeah. I like my multiplayer games, your DayZ. I'm playing a lot of that at the moment. What's a yeah. DayZ? Day, this is, it's okay to talk <laughs> about. Yeah, of course. <laughs> this this is the forum. footy with Broden Kelly. I mean, there'll be people who are mad. They'll go like, honest opinion. I think he should just stick to footy players. But I'm really having a wonderful time. Yeah, I've not yeah, seen yeah, you yeah. in a while. No, it's it has. It's been a while. And yeah. it's good to be talking to you about Daisy. Daisy's so great. Is it, so is it Daisy and Beyonce? Daisy. Or Deyonce? No. <laughs> Daisy and Deyonce? That's good. No, but me. very good. <laughs> Thank you. It's a, like a zombie survival game. Right. Isn't that the movie, the zombie movie? No, that's World War Z. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, World War Z. I call they, do they call them Zekas in that? Yeah. I don't know. You yeah, can't ever call zombies zombies in zombie movies. Are you Why? aware of this? Because then- Copyright or something? No, I, I think, I believe it's because if you call a zombie a zombie in your zombie movie, that means that zombies exist. That means zombies would exist, like this is an, a, a world mm. where that where in where in fiction there is not zombies. No, it's, like yeah, it's like oh, right. it's a vampire. Yeah, exactly. in, the, the, in zombies, in zombie movies, Dracula exists, vampires exist, yeah, Frankenstein exists, yeah, but yeah. no, no, zo- yeah, no, no zombie. I, I think that's. I don't know if that's. I'm sure all the footy boys in the comments will be like, "I <laughs> fucking no shit about <laughs> no, zombie law sense, yeah. and film and shit." And I apologize. But you'd but be a um, PC. You can only take. You're on an island. Okay. Yeah, an island, and um, you do, you. Uh, do I have? Do I have an internet connection? You got internet. You got right. It's um. It's Phillip Island. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> you've got a house and cows in Phillip Island. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and you can have as many game consoles as you want. Oh, sick. Um, yeah, just, that's it. All right. I yeah, that PC. sounds awesome. But no, you can only have one gaming console. Oh. Switch, PC, N64, PS5, Xbox, and X, X, Next Gen. Do you remember when someone gave us three Xboxes? Yeah, they did. They yeah. gave us, and it was my turn yeah. to get... Because they only ever give us three. That's yeah. the yeah, thing yeah, about yeah. being in, a, in we, a comedy trio made of six people with three behind the scenes and, yeah. and three face. You only ever get three. Recently, Toodaloo gave us three portable bidets. Now, talk yeah. to this because I have one in my house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you sent you one day, Mark goes, Broden, you got to take this. And he got out what looked to be a Maritalade. Yeah. And it was like a vibrating water with a water pump on it. Now, yeah. what is the Toodaloo? The Toodaloo is a Brisbane company, I believe, that make... A, a beautiful bidet systems for your home. Don't have to spend thousands of dollars on an import from <laughs> Japan or Hong Kong. Um, and it just sits on top of your toilet. You install it. I This is not paid for, but it might be one day. Yeah. 
<laughs> because they sent this, they're going to send me something very nice. They sent nice. me a portable toodaloo. Yeah, yeah, for when you go camping all the time. I know you like going camping. <laughs> but it's just like a hose that you, like, I fill with water and then spray it on my bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Clean, Clean your, your bum. bum. And it, it sorted out all my blood issues. That's great. So you brought yeah. in a top five. <laughs> yes, I brought in some hot takes. But to pick your, it would be PC you'd take first, it's isn't PC. it? Well, yeah, I think there's the most variety. A lot of PlayStation exclusives are coming to PC mm. now. Like what? Um, well, GTA 6 will be a PC, won't it? Uh, well, yeah, yeah. Well, that's yeah, always that's yeah, always yeah, been yeah. pretty much a cross, cross platform. But you know, things like your Spider Man's, your Last of Us. Is God of War on PC yet? Yes, it is. Oh, Mine, right. I believe. Could yeah, you, could you get, could you think, get yeah. RuneScape up on a PC? Oh, we, oh well, yeah, that's I believe it lives. So that's play, it lives yeah. on yeah. PC. You know, the only thing you wouldn't be able to get is the Nintendo games. But you know, there are ways around it. If you yeah, really emulators. Want to, you can get some emulators. You heard of um, Visual Boy Advance? Yes. Wink, wink. Yeah. Mm. Um, so, all right. Hot takes. <laughs> it's about it's about footy. Yeah. Right? Now this one's probably not uncommon. Okay. But I'll say it anyway. I think that as free flowing as the game will be, due to uh, man on the on the, the man on the mark rule, mm. I think fans are going to grow to hate <laughs> it as the seasons go on because thrashings will be more commonplace. What, what did you do? What, and what like as you, a result, I think the done? gap between th- this is my hot take. And as a ga- as a result, I think the gap between teams near the bottom and teams at the top will widen. Start again. So I, like so the game is the game is very free flowing. They're trying to make it more free flowing. Yeah, but I think Less due congested. to the man on the mark rule, so, so they can't move. Is that yeah. what you mean? Stand, stand the mark. Stand. Yep, stand the mark. Yep. He's <laughs> not. Yeah. I think fans will grow. What have to, you done? Have you gone on Chat GPT or something? No, this is a hot take. <laughs> Where'd you get it from? I, and I think players might catch on and exploit the rule. Where'd you get yeah, it from? I, I feel like the dog, my dog's coming to the house and there's something in its mouth. I'm like, what do you no. got? No. <laughs> Where have you got these? That's a, Do you want to put in a little hot take sting? Sure. <laughs> Only if you've got time to make it. Yeah, of course. What's the second hot take? Um, I think disposals are the most overrated stat. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think without the context of like efficiency and whether they're contested or not. What is, yeah, what is some are good, for, some, it's like food. Some are good for you and some phone. are just empty calories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the, what's the, <laughs> what's the. They're most, just fuck disposals, basically, in terms of a stat. What's your, what's the most underrated stat? What's the one you look at <laughs> as you <laughs> groom your beard? <laughs> The most uh, the undervalued stat. The one I find the most fun is how many bounces. Yes. Underrated stat. I yes. Like that. Very yeah, underrated. Yeah, yeah. What's it indicative of? What's it indicative of? It's just cool, Broden. Like remember when Boomer Harvey had nine bounces? Yes. Name me Who? something cooler. Boomer Harvey. <laughs> you remember? Yeah, he used to live in um, up near Diamond Creek, Yan Yan. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that what is that not a hot take? I think I mean it's a fair take. Like if someone just has fifty disposals, you go, yeah, you got a lot of the ball, but what did you do with it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like Mark in the Undone show had lots of lines, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's the moments when he didn't do lines, like mm. your famous sketch where you mime out a whole scenario. No mm. lines there, but still great value. Yeah, you get bang for your buck with that one. Mm. <laughs> you know, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Bang for your buck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where where did you get these? This is my hot take. Do you not believe that I, I believe could have these? Did you go to someone? Pardon? Did you go to someone to get these hot takes? No. Okay, great. What's your third hot take? I think Brisbane's rise to the top of the table isn't a surprise. You know, I think they spent ages near the bottom collecting talent, and now that talent has matured. That's, That's this. True. So this sounds to me. Yeah. So you know how ChatGPT. It's like I only rec- it's only knowledge from twenty twenty two and older. Oh, right. There's nothing new from three or four. Twenty twenty three and four. So when you go like, tell me about what happened today. Well, I only have information up to twenty twenty two. I did not know that. Is that because they keep the new information to themselves for the paid model? I th- yeah, I imagine so. Like all yeah, like right. ChatGPT is like, hey, we've got all the knowledge up until this date. Nothing new. Yeah, right. So I thought it was just a glorified <laughs> Google search. 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 Google <laughs> search. As, am I wrong? <laughs> Yeah, well, is that not a hot take? They've been good for a while now. They, yeah, were, yeah, they were in a grand final last year. Mm. Mm. And then, but yeah, but, and honest, that, I'll so. tell you what, didn't surprise me. No, no, their they talent has matured a long time down the bottom for sure. Yeah. They, they used to, all their players used to leave them, and then they got in a new coach who kind of created a, a new culture. Yeah, even their captain a Tom new, Rockley yeah. left. Yeah, the culture. Mm. You know about the you know about Triple H. What about Trip the wrestler? 
No. No. About, uh, no. About what Richmond, the the thing Richmond did mm-hmm. when they were, remember when they were just at the bottom? And yeah. In 12 yeah. months, they turned it around due to Triple H. What are the H's? Hero, Hardship, and... Hardwick. No, and Highlight. What are you, what are you, what is this? You don't know about this? No. You're fucking so. stupid. This is the footy <laughs> podcast. You don't know about one of the the biggest... To explain One of the Triple biggest H- things that the Richmond football team did to turn their season <laughs> around. the rantings of a man. No, 2016, <laughs> bottom of the ladder. Yeah. Yeah, Triple H. 2017, win the grand final, right? Uh, yeah. 12 months. I don't think they're on the bottom of the ladder. No, but they kept finishing ninth. That was the joke, wasn't it? Yeah. All right. Turn it around. You know how? Triple, Triple H. H. Yeah. So what were they again? Hero. Hero. <laughs> hardship. Highlight. So the boys all got around. Is this, a, is, this a, is this a hot take? No, this is real life, man. I'm not <laughs> fucking around. How do you not know this? Triple H. Mr. The rest of- footy. Oh, I missed the <laughs> footy, Mr. Broden Kelly. The footy with Broden Kelly. You played mm. Mr. Footy once. Doesn't I, I, did I? I did. Yeah. Yes, I did. Mm. In, some, in some countries. <laughs> in some countries, it was Mr. Soccer. Yeah. <laughs> in a sketch. You don't know about how Richmond turned that around. Well, where did you get this from, though? Where are you getting all this? I got this from our old office. <laughs> you got this from our old office? Yeah, and I'm not going to go into any more detail. Fair enough. I respect that. If you, were trying, if you would prefer not to go into it, I respect it. They got everyone. They got everyone around. Who? Richmond. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> this is real. This is real. Yeah, no, I think I'm working out what happened. What's happened. What do you, what's your guess of what he's My done? My guess is he went to our old, old office, which is the man cave now. Yeah. And there were some manly men there and he's made friends with them. And they've told Mark about something they learned from Richmond. Like, at Richmond, this is how they dealt with mental health issues. Oh, that's interesting. And told Mark, this is how they dealt with certain issues. Triple H. You could, you know, do, we do this at our business because Richmond did it. And then on top of that, he's texted that person and gone, can you give me five hot tips for Richmond? <laughs> oh, you know, pretty good guess. Not fully there. Not fully there. Did you message a friend about these hot takes? No. Is it chat GPT? No. Now this has become a guessing. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I love it. It's become a who done it. Who gave Mark the information? A, pro- a lot of pub- uh, probably a lot of your listeners know about this because they're not blind <laughs> to what happens. <laughs> you know, Richmond. when big things happen in footy, they probably listen and fucking paying attention. I haven't watched footy in Doesn't years. Doesn't necessarily have to be their team, Broden. They're not all about the demons. They're about what what's what's happening across the board. I bet you Max Miller would know mm. about Triple H. No, ask him. Yeah. Are you, did Max give you hot takes? No, he didn't give me shit. He doesn't fucking talk to me. Max Mills, the Auntie Donna director, he, he recently worked on a new series for the ABC called... He hasn't talked to me um, anymore. You're ringing him? Yeah. He's in the edit, uh, an edit review session, so he'll answer for sure. He, be- he better. Come on, Max. Come on, Max. Come on, Max. People are going to be so mad. You can cut. If he doesn't answer, you can cut. No, leave it. We're a no <laughs> cut. Called Max. I can't get to the phone at the moment, but leave me a message oh. and I'll give you a call back. Please leave a detailed message after the tone. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Max, call me back and explain to Broden and Tom what Richmond Football Club did in 2016 to turn it around in 2017 using the Triple H method. <laughs> and what's your take for... Do you don't want me to explain Triple H? Well, you just... I thought you did. What do you mean? No, what are you, where are you reading from? Oh, wait. I I'm know reading from my Triple notes H. app. Oh, great. The Keep on Google. Pardon? Keep? Yeah, the Keep. Yeah. Oh, it's called Notes on... Yeah, we call it Apple. Keep over on All Google. All right. Yeah. Here's another hot take. Brayshaw. Yeah. Best current TV footy commentator for sure. Oh, okay. What are you doing? Have you gone? What bin did I mean, you get no, into? No, I just been. I watched a game. That's similar to what I like. I like Brayshaw a lot too when he's not being too broy in jokey. When he's just calling the game for what it is. No, he's got a great voice. Hotto's yeah. better on Fox. Hotto? Hotto. Hotto. <laughs> Hotto is but I reckon, I reckon Brayshaw is the best. <laughs> for sure. Why is this? Hotto. 
Hardo. Hardo. Oh, sorry, I didn't get his name. The pronunciation, I don't know. He's not saying his own name. He's too busy talking about the footy. That's true. <laughs> so I don't his name's he... Anthony Hudson. Hudson, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hardo. You yeah. prefer Hardo on Fox Footy? I think he's yeah, he's better. But Brayshaw's the he's the he's the best he's the best one going around currently. That's a hot take. That is a hot that take. That is a hot take. Yeah, yeah, I know. No, not people's. I wouldn't say he's a regular in people's favourites. What do you like about um, JB versus Hotto? JB Hotto. When I hear when I hear uh, Brayshaw, I'm like, call McDonald's and order breakfast because that's a hot cake. <laughs> In terms of my hot takes. Oh, he's yeah. a hot cake. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean by that? Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a hot cake. Um, and so, and uh, hot cakes are a little lighter than your sausage or your, <laughs> or your egg <laughs> muffins. Hmm? <laughs> so that's kind of like, if you can understand that comparison. Yeah. What else I got? I got all right. Okay, here we go. The this is of a man. <laughs> no, no, no. This is for, this is for real, man. I hope Max calls back because I mm. want you guys. Oh, if he doesn't, I'll explain Triple Eight. You should know this, bro. You t- just explain what it was. The three the three H's. Yeah. Right. How did they use it? They went. Let's work towards these. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I know, and and you're wrong. Hardship. Hero, nah, hero, hero, hero. So I know they did a lot of good work at, at like having good storylines. That's what Damien Hardwick was so good for. So perhaps they made like a, a hero theme for each match. Wrong. Oh. <laughs> Hardship, hero. Have a guess what it is, what they would do with it. They play well with it. They, Wrong. They think about it. Well, they did pl- end up playing well with they it. Did, they yeah. took home the, the cup. Three times. <laughs> the next In year, 12 years. months they turned it around. Yeah. No lineup changes. No. No change in management, zero turnover. Went from the bottom of the top. Mm. Triple H. Yeah, go on. With another hot take. Uppercase H or lowercase H? What? Because that's important law in this podcast. Oh, Is yeah. it? Yeah, I do the rela- <laughs> I told you the relationship thing. No. So a good relationship yes. should resemble Be like a H. An uppercase H. A bad relationship. Often resemble an uppercase A. A yeah. Mm. I've told you that. Yes, yes, you have. Yeah. Set you down? Yeah. <laughs> I live my life by it. That's why my partner and I walk around very straight next to each other with our <laughs> arms <laughs> extended out, <laughs> touching each other. I don't, it's it's more a metaphor than a literal thing. What? <laughs> Can I remember in the past, you, in, with previous relationships, you'd lean against each other. I know. So I had a headache all the time. That's oh. why my last relationship ended because of the migraines. Oh, my God. And the codependency. Well, What's your, have you got how many more hot takes you got? Uh, I got two more. Two Great. More, okay. like second last one? Yeah. So I feel like a good center bounce goes straight up. Yeah. Right. And hence trying to bounce it on the longest, you know, because you're trying to bounce it on the longest uh, part of the ball, if you want to point mm. that out for the people watching. What do you mean by Where that? they bounce it on the longest, they bounce it on the here. longest part yeah, of the ball. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's, it's, an unne- it's, a, it's an unnecessary skill that umpires need to develop, uh, which can never be perfect and it burdens them. I think just throw the fucking ball. Get rid of the bounce. Yeah, just that throw. That's what people say. Yeah, it's yeah. fuck. It's hard. And, 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 they're, and they're trying to develop. It's too random. Mm. And there's people who it hurts their back. So we're losing good umpires purely because they can't do this one particular skill. Exactly. Throw the ball. <laughs> the, and I know the AFL listens to this podcast. Let's see if that was me. You just got a message. In the it's not. Who it's was it? It's a producer from a TVC I'm working on. <laughs> <laughs> now, so that's uh, that. Oh, there's like one more, but that's a fucking. That's a good hot take. Play yeah. the sting. <laughs> um. And your lucky last hottest take. Is it the hottest take of all or is it just a, another middling hot take? I think Brent Harvey is probably the most underrated AFL player of all time. Boomer Harvey? Ben, no, Brent Harvey? Brent Harvey. His Two nickname is Boomer. Brent. You've already talked about him. Yeah. Oh, I thought we were talking about Robert Harvey. Sorry, I got confused. Boomer Harvey. Yeah. Did Boomer ever what? win a Brownlow or So anything? whoever gave you this information... Two. Yeah, they would. Wait, well, I don't know if Boomer got two. That's Brent Harvey. Robert Harvey. No, Brent Harvey. They, North got two... 
flags in the 90s. Oh, right. But, you know, he's just not ter- He's not talked about in the same... St Kilda have not run a flag since 60s. No, I was talking about Brownlow. You, got, so. you know, like, it should be Harvey, you know, Voss, Buckley. Should be in the same breath, but it's not. 400. Yes, 400 Spartans. <laughs> <laughs> no, he played at 400 oh, games. Yeah, yeah, he played 400. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Who, so uh, did a North Melbourne fan give you these things? No, think, it's okay, just, so it's we're just, onto something here. It's yeah. all easy. A North Melbourne. Who do we know who's a North Melbourne fan? Is your mate one of your mates? Uh, Josh. Is he in North Melbourne? No. Is it? Who goes for North Melbourne? Was that a, not a hot take? Because James Brayshaw yeah. is go. He used to be the president of North Melbourne. True. Yeah. True. So, so it's a North biased person. Hmm. No, it's just. Will you? Will you own up and be truthful? And say your and say where you've leaked or sieved these <laughs> takes and thoughts, or will you continue to be a coward in the darkness, fearing away from the truth? Uh, look, all right. I'll, if it's if speak it's speak now and speak truthfully. Yeah, if it's good to be honest, I'm 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 very happy to be. I can be honest. Yeah, because I'm dying to know. Really? Yeah. Um, we should get that checked out. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? I said I'm dying to know. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't being serious, Mark. Uh-huh. He wasn't being literal. Were you being literal? No, no. Um, so, well, I like just Google for me. I fell on takes. And now the the first thing that should turn up is a is a Reddit yeah. hot takes and unpopular <laughs> opinions. So this is a Reddit post from four years ago. <laughs> started by Darcy1537325. Um, and there's a bunch of comments. I miss Philip Frio's green and red. Maybe this isn't the same. I one. didn't think that was a hot enough take. Yeah, fair enough too. Yeah. Okay. The next one, probably not on Come Else anyway. As free-flowing as the game will be due to the man on the mark <laughs> rule, fans will grow to hate it as the season goes on. I think that's proven to be false. To be Brisbane's honest. rise to the top of the table isn't a surprise. This is just all the things you've said. This is Reddit. Well, look, I don't watch... Four years ago. I don't watch the football that much. Where did you get the Triple H thing from? No, that's... Well, that's from... That is from the old office. (laughs) Why? That that is real. What do you mean, why? Where did you get the Triple H from? (laughs) So I'll explain it because Max isn't going to... He's never going to call me back. And why would he? Mm. Um, So you went down there to talk to the charitable people. Charitable people that work there. Yeah, I'm doing a little bit of work with the man cave. Yeah. I love the man cave. And they told you something insightful. Well, we did it. We we did the Triple H. We did the thing. But right. Triple H is a wrestler. He runs the WWE now. Isn't he, he does, and I don't know if it has anything to do with. I don't know what those H's stand for. Yeah. Headlocks. Um, <laughs> the high bar. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and maybe. Hit my head too hard. Hemorrhage. <laughs> Hit my head too hard. Well, yeah. That could be the three H's. <laughs> Hit my head too hard. Yes, it could yeah, be. Yeah, it could be. Um, uh, but what the, this is uh, this is real life. No shit, right? Um, and it's beast mode. How cool this is. <laughs> when I heard this, I went, that's beast mode. <laughs> Just in terms of <laughs> how cool it yeah, is. Yeah, how right? cool it is. I went, fuck, man. That's beast this mode. is fucking beast mode. <laughs> Stop saying beast mode. <laughs> Why? It's beast, beast to say that. People have changed it's beast to say that. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so they, no lineup changes. <laughs> Where did you get this? <laughs> this so the is from people, people. They do this it. This is how they get kids it's around great, and they rev them up. It's a team building. It's more about team building. So what's Because the they eight? went, someone went, I oh, know someone. They brought someone in, mm. some, some quack. Yeah, came in and was like, the, your, "Your team's losing because the boys don't know each other. Mm. They don't know each other. They need they need don't know each other to their you know they they're playing with strangers. They're all good boys, but they're all strange boys. Mm. Strangers. strangers. <laughs> <laughs> um, if they were on Netflix show, they'd be Stranger Things, mm. <laughs> and not you. What? Because. <laughs> Well, you want them, they're, 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 if you're comparing them to Netflix, I think she said this. She Who's might, she? The quack that they got You know in. the one that saved Dusty Martin, turned Dusty Martin around as well? Well, it didn't save him. He was just like. No, just I, solidified I, him so he didn't blow away from the breeze. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long season. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, so what, what, what is it? Um, uh, uh, she, she came, she's like, you guys are all stranger things. You need to be you <laughs> mm. in the sense of uh, I know you. You know the show You? I'm, I can't think of it. Is it on Netflix? Pardon? Uh, yeah. It's the one about the guy. It doesn't, not the themes of the show, more just the title of the show. I need you guys to be you in terms of I know you. Is there a better Netflix show that has something to do with like knowing? Um, the knowing? Is that a show? Knowing. Does it matter? Uh, can we move on? We can. But it would be great to get this analogy <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to look up on Netflix? Are you guys are Stranger Things. I need you guys to be. Hey, Mark, it feels irrelevant. Um, it truly feels. No, right. love is blind. No, mm. no. no. I type in you. Oh, I'll type wow. in you into. There's a, there's a show called You. Oh no, I know there is. What about Reverse for You, which appears to be some sort of. No, just a show that has something about like getting to know you or something about being friends. Yeah. Adds- friends. Friends. Friends is on Netflix. Is it? Yeah. You guys are strange things. I need you guys to be friends. Yeah. Friends um, is on Netflix. Friends is on Netflix. But also, so I'd is rather Friends. Have, nah, friends. it has to be a Netflix original. Oh, okay. <laughs> it doesn't work. Well, there's also it. on here, it's a movie. They've got, got Friends with Benefits with uh, Mila Kunis and uh, Justin Timberlake. Yes, but it's not a Netflix Man, original. Not Netflix original. Well, I can't. Do you want me to well, look? It doesn't matter. Well, you're wasting too much time on Fern this. Fern Brady comes up. Great stand-up. Uh, that's an original. No. Chaos. What? No, that's not. Sorry, that's just a top 10. Um, Old Man in the Pool, the Mike Babiglia. Look up Netflix original shows about knowing each other or being friends. Well, man, look, like you is the one. Like, just go with All right, you. you. But not thematically. <laughs> not straight. Nothing. Jesus, man. Thematically, anyway, what about this new one about Chestnut versus Kobayashi, the two fastest <laughs> world fastest eaters? No. Oh, well, that I can't wait to watch. Yeah, that's out now. Yeah, I think it played live at 3 a.m. this morning. Kobayashi versus yeah. Chestnut. They're both sick. Yeah. Oh, how about Co- maybe Cobra Kai? Mm, Why? About finding inner peace and truth. and Yeah, let's do that. You guys yeah. are stranger things. I need you guys to be Cobra Kai, mm. I think is what she actually said anyway. Um, and Jeez. so she went, so she gets them all in this room. I'm not comfortable with Cobra Kai being here. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it does, it does. But it's about uh, karate and... Is it... Kung Fu or Karate? No, Karate Kid. Karate Kid. Karate Kid. Karate Kid. But I really don't know. Yeah, I haven't watched it. Kung Fury? I, th- I know that's not that's a Netflix a original, show, but that's a great... Very funny. Um, that's Last a great movie. Um, Baby Reindeer? Yeah, they're kind of friends. They're kind of friends, they're they're kind of friends yeah, in yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. But it wasn't out then. <laughs> but, the, but I think he may have been touring the live show around that. Queen's Gambit? Uh, well, it's about a solo. No, there's a person playing what about on their own. We need to be like the gentleman. Um, yeah. Or we need to be like Beckham. Beckham and uh, and uh, Victoria. Well, the show's called Beckham. The, calls, the show's called Beckham. That's about two friends. What about Narcos? They team up to kill. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Um, no. Three body problem. What's the one with Henry Ford in it? Henry Ford? Holden Ford. No, Ford vs. Ferrari is not a Netflix original. No, no. Holden, Ford Holden. Ford and... Oh, Mindhunter. Holden. Mindhunter. Oh, Mindhunter. Getting to know each other, you know? Yeah, Why asking do you do questions. You do? Yeah. How many people have you killed? Yeah. That you don't have to stick around. You can go, by the way. Um, but <laughs> We're we'll just keep... trying to get this analogy right. <laughs> yeah, I want to hear the bottom Maid? of the Triple H thing. Uh, or Maid. It's a, that's, a, that's crazy, that show. Comedians but... in cars getting coffee? <laughs> no, it's too... No... Let's just we say... We need to get to the good place. Yes. Oh, yes. No, that's great. The good place is perfect. It's it, Look, in Australia, it's a Netflix original. Great. Does, does that make sense? Yes, it does. Let's do that. And I'm pretty sure that's what she said anyway. Is She went, you guys are like... She's like, to give you all an analogy, you guys like Stranger Things, I need to get you guys like the good place. Mm-hmm. And they're like, all right. So she gets everyone in a room, everyone, the coach, the management... All the people at the top, all the people at the bottom. Yeah. I don't know how low we, when the we talk about the boot stutters, they often, people refer to the boot stutters, you know, even right down to the boot stutters. Right. Right down to the boot stutters. She gets them all in a room, sets up three chairs, just fucking chucks them out there. Mm-hmm. Right. Do you remember we did that in the early days of Donna? We rehearsed in a library uh, for 15 mm-hmm. bucks for three hours. Mm-hmm. And then one day we started doing a riff where we would throw the chairs in a pile. <laughs> 
just starts smashing these chairs that didn't belong to us in a gigantic pile in the middle of the room. Well, tell me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was part of the uh, TAC. Yeah, we used to do this where we would do like a safe driving improv, like it was a, like a play in school done by year 11s about like drink driving. And we would do this play about, I don't think you should be driving. And then we would do these big elongated scene changes where we'd move chairs out. And then we just evolved that to be smashed throwing chairs in a pile. It just go for a really, a really long time. And I think one of the librarians walked past and saw us just like destroying chairs that didn't belong to us. Those were good days, man. Some of my happiest memories were getting to the library early and picking up the keys in a small pencil case the day before the rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> Sam said to me the other day, yeah. he's like, I reckon you still owe me 30 bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, potentially. And he's like, I was like, move the fuck on. Anyway. Anyway, she throws these three fucking chairs out there. This is common knowledge. So everyone at home is probably bored. And this is just, I'm explaining it for you two boys. Probably the only people who listen to this podcast who don't know what I'm talking about. Mm. Um, and she goes, all right. Three words powering Richmond, 2017. Wait, no, no, no. Don't I let found me, an let article me, about let it. Me, let me, let me, let me. Hardship highlight hero. <laughs> Keep going, go, go. She goes, all right, cunts. <laughs> really? Yeah, she was hard. She was like, <laughs> she's like, all right, you fucking cunts. Bottom wow. of the ladder. You guys don't, you guys are strange things. We need to get you to the good place. And the best way to do that is the way Netflix did it. Is they're like, get up. So one, three pe- random people get up, take a seat. First seat is about a hero in your life. Mm-hmm. Second seat is about a hardship that you've been through. Third seat is about a highlight from your life. And three random people get up, they take a seat. Depending on what seat you got in, you'd tell a story based on either a hero, a hardship, or a highlight. Cool. And that, doing that, got everyone to know each other. They got to know each other more. Through the Triple H. Became stronger as a team. Hardship highlight hero. I had a big part to do with them turning it around in one year. I have heard that. I remember. Um, There's an article about it here. Now, yeah. I don't give a fuck about football. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's not true. I think it's great that we have a national sport. And I think it's one. <laughs> I do, you don't I do. have to back track. No, I really do. I genuinely <laughs> think it's great that it's so popular. It's like, you know, if only the theatre was as popular. <laughs> It's as, but it's as close as we get. Yeah, you know, and it's it great is that we have in some, many ways. Because imagine like if that Sam. was, imagine if no one was going to games. That it genuinely mm. that would suck. As much yeah. as it's not something I engage with, that would suck. You know, so I'm great. I'm so I'm grateful that it exists and that it's a thing. And, and anyway, but uh, um, I can't remember where I was going with this. <laughs> but when I heard, no, that's right. When I heard that, I was like, that's. I th- I thought I went. I heard that story and I partook in a in a, in a thing of it. And afterwards, I went. <laughs> well, Mark, oh, you that's brought. In, oh, that's interesting. Yeah. You brought three things today, Mark. You brought hot takes, and I'm sorry they weren't mine, but I was. Uh, yeah, they were great. I was panicking. They're from four years ago on Reddit, yeah. and uh, you brought uh, your phone, and you brought the three lessons of Triple H, and that's something everyone can take with them as we near the end of the finals. Who are you? Uh, who's who do you, who's going? Do we know? I'm what, back in Geelong, all the way. Your team, really? Yeah. Are the cats going strong? Yeah, get yeah. on them. Where are the blues? They're in there, mm-hmm. or they could be out. We don't know. This is coming right. out in a little bit. Oh, in two weeks. Yeah, right. They could be out this weekend. Yeah. Oh, they could be playing this weekend. Well, I'll hear it from my lounge room. Mm. You live near Carlton, people. Yeah. In Pascoville, where I live too. Yeah, a lot of Italians going. Yes. Yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. I hear. Yeah, they get they get rowdy That's about it. It's great. It's great to hear the passion. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mark, I, love, thank, I love passion on Mark, any level. Thanks so much for coming in. It's uh, so, such a pleasure. And all, all the best with your TVC. Thank you. I should I should get to that. Yeah. Production <laughs> yeah. message now. Um, I think they're chasing a receipt. <laughs> <laughs> thanks Mark and everyone thanks for sticking around and uh, we'll see you um, Monday bounce that pill say that, say this your sign off my sign off yeah say bounce that say what bounce, is there is there that, a sign you off? say bounce that pill is it do, is that a thing that you say yeah. yeah is the pill because the ball's pill shape yeah and you say bounce that pill but you don't believe in that believe in it yeah you remember you were talking about throwing it up for ages oh yeah toss the pill that's my, that's my, 
And I do. After having read that hot take, I was like, that, oh, fuck it. It's a fair argument, but Absolutely. it's about tradition versus. I mean, what if I said you can't do tomato day because it hurts everyone's back? Well, who's back? If it hurts nonnas, absolutely. If it's hurting fucking Uncle Sonny's fucking, he's a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Toss that pill.